Hi everybody, John Ninja Casey here, and today's video is about anime glass painting, specifically for the beginner. If you want to try anime glass painting and are just afraid because you don't know where to start, the approach, what materials you may need, then this is the perfect video for you because I am here to tell you everything you need to know about beginning anime glass painting. Let's go. Okay, so here are all the tools that you'll need to start any anime glass painting endeavor, all right? It's not really many materials, you just need to know what the right materials are. The picture frames, all right, so very important because you get the glass from the picture frames. Now I use these format picture frames, and they're like borderless picture frames, and I use these picture frames because the artwork doesn't get hidden by the borders, as opposed to like on the picture frames with the borders. Now these can be used as well, and I use them also, but I like using the kind of like the frameless picture frames uh, in order to show more of the artwork. So that's something you might want to, for your own personal preference, consider. Now, there are different sizes that you can start. I always recommend starting with a big frame. And, and I'm saying a big frame because use a simple graphic on a big frame. Whereas you can have a lot of room to play around with as opposed to starting on a small frame when you really don't know what you're doing. But on a big frame, you have a lot more room to play around with and it's easier. It's like coloring a big coloring book as opposed to a tiny coloring book. Coloring a bigger coloring book is much easier because the details are much larger. Okay, I'll turn this upside down so you guys don't have to look at the reflection of my camera in the glass through this whole video. The next thing that you need are various size brushes. All right, right there. And with painting, you also need paint. Acrylic paint, don't try, do not try, don't try. I've said it three times because I get this question all the time. Don't try doing anime glass painting with watercolor, will not work. Don't try doing it with oil paint, will not work. Do not try doing it with ink will not work. Acrylic paint is the only way to go with anime glass painting. Okay? Next thing you'll need are these little containers. You can you can literally get these at the 99 cent stores or those dollar stores, but you need these containers to mix the colors for the job that you're doing because each job is going to take a different array of colors. So you want to have those colors already mixed so you can get those jobs done. And once you mix those colors, you don't want to toss them away because you might use them for another job so that you have them ready. You put them in these containers, save them for the next job that you use for those colors, okay? One very important thing to remember. Okay? There's three pens that I have here. Two of them you can use, one of them do not use. All right, now, this is the identity pen. Right? This is the Sakura Identipen. This is, I would say, the number two best choice for lining your anime glass painting. The number one best choice for lining your, your anime glass painting is the Sharpie oil-based pen. Okay, This is the oil-based Sharpie. It is by far the best choice to line your anime glass painting. With, right? Now, the worst choice, and I'm, I'm saying this because a lot of people use it just thinking or by default they think it's a good idea without even knowing is like the worst choice you can use for the anime glass painting but the the uni Pasca pen now this pen is good for many things but not for anime glass art so don't even use these all right your best choices again like i said the sharpie the oil based sharpie and the sakura identity pen right Put those there now, after you have, these are the basic items that you will need to begin painting. After you have your painting, you'll need your subject. Your subject meaning the artwork that you're going to line onto your glass and create a beautiful piece of work. With. Okay, so let's move on to that. Now, as a beginner, you want to pick something very simple. I'm going to pick this picture of Piccolo, my favorite Dragon Ball Z character. Very important to remember, whatever picture you're working on, before you print it out, you have to flip it because you will be working on it in reverse so that when you finish with the painting and turn it over, it will be the correct way.
Once you decide on your artwork, size it to the size of the glass that you'll be working on. Then print it out. Okay, so once you've finished printing out the piece of artwork that you're gonna transfer onto the glass, take the glass out of the frame, like so. And then now you place the glass on top of the artwork, like so. Now I sized this again, I sized this to fit the glass, which was eight by 10. So you have to size your artwork to fit the glass or the size glass you're working on, okay? Now the glass fits on top of the artwork perfectly. Then you take some scotch tape and try not to get on the lines you are going to be working on with the tape. So you tape at the edges making sure that the glass stays still on the paper and doesn't move when you're doing the line work. Very important because you would hate for it to have this <laughs> mess up because you're doing the line work and in the middle of you doing the line work, the glass moves and now you have to readjust it and that could be a pain in the butt if you don't readjust it right and you're still doing the line work, all right? Good, now that that's taped on and it's one with the force. <laughs> now that that's taped on and it's one with the paper, you go in with your Sakura Identipen or your oil base Sharpie and you do the lines like this. Okay, so once you're done with the line work, there's two things that you have to pay attention to. One is to make sure that you got all the detail on there that you're supposed to get. So you easily take the tape off. <laughs> and separate it from the paper. And it should look something like this, okay? Okay, you have the line work. Okay, so you have the line work. Again, you make sure that all the lines that you're supposed to have, that you do have, and pretty much I do have here. And you also wanna make sure that there are no mistakes or jagged lines. Now, if you look closer to this, because those round edges can be such a pain in the butt, you can see that there's a jagged line there. And that sort of thing will happen. So don't like, don't lose your head if it does happen. See also right there by the uh, eyebrow, there's a little line. And those are super easy fixes. And how do you fix those? And I think I should have included this in the material that you needed in the beginning with an X-Acto blade, right? So basically you take an X-Acto blade and you scrape off any excess marker or whatever it is that you use to do the line work off the glass. Glass, glass is not porous so the markers will always sit at the top. So it's easy to just scrape them off and correct the line. So don't think that just because it looks like I make perfect lines that I do, I don't. <laughs> I come into situations like this where I have to correct it and the easy way to correct it is to just scrape the lines perfect. You can compare it to see. <laughs> it's a very sunny day today and the sun is shining right on my <laughs> right on my table right here. So gives you guys a nice bright clear view of what it is that I'm trying to show you. 
All right, so now you have the line work, all right? The next step is the painting. Now, very important for you to understand that you are painting on the side of the glass that you drew the marker on. So it's not the opposite side. It's not the opposite side. It's the same side that the marker is on. That's the same side you paint on. Very important, okay? Now, there are just about maybe five or six things you're gonna have to keep in mind as you do your anime glass painting. The first thing is start with the dark colors first. It's a much easier approach and it allows you to be able to put the lighter colors over the darker colors without the colors being seen through on the other side because the darker colors will always hide the lighter colors better. Two is you are going to make mistakes. Without a doubt, you're going to make mistakes. Do not freak out about it. It's easy to just scrape off those mistakes or even to start over if you have to. Nothing wrong with that. You're beginning, so understand that it's not a perfect science in the beginning. So mistakes will happen. Accept it and move forward. Three is you have to be patient. I think patience is the most important thing in glass art. And why do I say that? I say that because each color you put down will take time to dry before you lay down another color. And as it's drying, you can do one of two things. You can start another color on the painting that doesn't touch any of the other colors so the colors don't blend, or you can just wait until it dries and then continue. Number four is don't give up. I say that because anime glass painting, although at first glance it could look very easy, it does have a steep learning curve. So it can be difficult when you run into things like having to constantly patch the holes that you missed when you were painting. And you will have to constantly patch holes. That's one of the deals. Okay, so don't give up. Patch all the holes you need to patch and keep moving. In the end, it'll be all worth it and your artwork will be a masterpiece. Six is your first anime glass painting may not be a masterpiece and you shouldn't let yourself be discouraged by that. You have to remember this is something that you're learning, you're a beginner at, and there is going to be time for you to improve. But it's very important that you know that your first one, not going to be your best one, but it will get better as you practice more. One of the best parts or one of the best things about anime glass painting is the whole time you're looking at something that looks pretty ugly. You're coloring, you're doing the blotches, you're doing the, the brush strokes, and it doesn't even look like anything you'd want to show anybody. But when it's finished, when you did your job, then you have the great pleasure of flipping it over and revealing its true beauty, the true beauty of the artwork you just created. And that is a great feeling. <sighs> now that you know all that you need to know about beginning anime glass painting, take this knowledge and create great works of art. This is Draw Ninja Casey saying, I'll see you next time. Wow!